Hello, everybody. I'm sitting here at my desk. Thank you for joining me here at Phases of Life Inspiration Entertainment. I'm working on our nonprofit website today. Um, if you would, uh, take a moment to go by um, phasesoflife.com to view our website. It's in uh, work in progress. And so, uh, as you know, when you start out on a business, with a business and you have to have a website, some websites cost about $3,500 on a high end, um, on the low end, you're either gonna do it for free or you're gonna pay somebody to start now who wants to build their business. Um, you're gonna pay them to do the website. I've done it twice, uh, trying to support someone in their uh, business and I still don't have a website and it's been going on for years. And that goes to show that uh, oftentimes when we, we try to support businesses that have um, well, you know, local businesses that's trying to build up their business and they don't follow through with um, the actual thing that you ask them to do. Number one, uh, the website. Number two, you give them the information that you need. And number three, you've given them payment. I would suggest to you to not pay for your website before it's done because you end up like I did and, didn't, and don't receive what you're paying for, which is twice website. I've also invested into uh, companies for um, advertisement, uh, for t-shirts, stuff of that nature. And I pay people in advance for those products. I got the t-shirt, but it wasn't what I expected on one end. Uh, I was told that they could do one thing and then the other end that they ended up giving me something different. Um, I paid for it. They gave me, I don't know if it's a PDF. I never did find the email where they're supposed to be sending me the PDF so that I could use it for other things. Um, I paid for the logo, but I, it's not in use because I never received the email. And if they sent it, forgive me if you see my video and you, you see my video, just send me the PDF if you would, so that I can use that for um, advertisement. Uh, also, I did another t-shirt through another vendor, and she did the t-shirt lovely. However, um, she didn't give me the logo. Her explanation for that was that I didn't want it. Why would I pay for something and, 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 and not want it? That was kind of crazy, but anyway. Sometimes you just have to let uh, sleeping dogs lay. And so I just went on and uh, just counted it as another loss. So that's three black businesses, black owned businesses that I've tried that I didn't get what I wanted. I got what they wanted to give me or either I got what I wanted but didn't get the logo to uh, use for other things. So I have to go outside of my community to get what I need. And that's fine. You know, everybody's somebody in the kingdom of God. It's just a principle that we talk about supporting black owned businesses. And yet uh, the things that we're seeking, we're not getting what we needed or what we need. And so I want to encourage you that if you have your own business, if somebody asks you to do something, do it the way they ask you to do it instead of taking it upon yourself to do it the way you think it should be done. And if someone pays for a service, you should um, follow through with that service. So at any rate, I'm working on my um, website because I've tried, like I said, I've tried other people. And so Phases of Life International Ministries is up. It's a nonprofit. The nonprofit was actually completed June 11, uh, 2020. And so now we're in the process of opening up uh, an account and also um, I'm trying to add things as I go to the website so if you would um, take a moment to uh, touch that notification bell and also subscribe and like uh, this video so that you can keep up with what we're doing we're trying to do things according to to the kingdom we're trying to build up the people of God and build the kingdom of God according to scripture uh, I use the King James Version of the Bible as my um, uh, main resource for the information that I put out. Uh, I try to treat people like I want to be treated. 
the word of God says, do unto others as you will have them do unto you. And so all I can do with all the negative things that have happened to me in my life, I'm becoming and being the person that I des desire to see in the earth. And so oftentimes um, I don't like what I see. And so when I complain about something, I like to come with a solution. So the solution to the problem that I have um, with supporting black owned businesses and uh, people that have their own startup businesses is to encourage them to uh, do better because there's people out here that that's really trying to accomplish their dreams and goals and ambitions. Uh, a few years ago, I said what I wanted to do uh, concerning uh, being a blessing to, to the kingdom of God on a larger level. I'm now doing that. Um, praise God for my husband and you utilizing his resources to help build our ministry. I mean, Somebody might say, well, what is he supposed to, what else is he supposed to do? Well, the thing about it is husband and wives are not supporting each other. You know, they're not always supportive uh, with their dreams and your goals. And so it's, it's a little separatism in the household. But thank God there's unification in our household. And I thank God that God has blessed me with a husband that uh, has vision, that, uh, that dream dreams. And his dreams are sometimes bigger than mine, I think. And so... I thank God that when I need encouragement, he's there all the time to encourage me. So thank you, Willie, Roy Andrews. <laughs> thank you, honey, for supporting my dreams and my goals. And things have been with me for a long time. But as far as donating to our cause for Feed My Sheep Clothing Transition or Housing Ministry, it's going to come later. But right now, we, we need funding for helping us to feed people on a larger level and donations for cloth clothing and finances to travel different places, uh, gas, whether we have to get on the plane or whatever, whenever this COVID-19 thing calm down. Uh, we're looking into the future of being able to to travel to different nations and different nationalities to support them as well. Um, we're um, going to do volunteer art and entertainment um, on the ministry side. It's going to be volunteer, but you all know that I do it on the other side as well as far as my business, my personal business. I will not get any um, funding from the nonprofit. I'm not getting paid to do this. I'm doing it for free. I'm taking all the funding. We're taking our resources. We're donating into the cause as well. Um, um, funding to help with the arts and entertainment, the strength and honor women. You're a part of this uh, great ministry as well. We have 121 members, uh, uh, 21 members or 27 members on Facebook in our actual group, but we only have about uh, seven women that actively showing uh, their, um, their need or their want to uh, support our ministry on the ground floor. So um, even though you're a part of Strength and Honor Women's Group, my vision was to start with the group and hopefully you all would trans transfer over into our ministry, women's ministry, so that we can uh, impact the world. Our, our community is full of people who want to help, but we're in the, in, in the, in the uh, ministry to help people by providing a service for the people who need them, okay? And uh, there's a lot of people in the world who needs food, food. There's a lot of people in the world who needs clothing. There's women that are not safe. They need transition and housing for our future endeavors. But for the first three years, we really want to get into raising funds and, and doing things that's going to impact uh, the women's lives that's a part of this Strength and Honor uh, Women's Group. Um, who's dealing with cancer and lupus. If you're on medications and stuff like that, you need to be a part of this ministry so we can help uh, help you uh, provide for your medications. Uh, for whatever we bring in, we're giving 90% back to you on our walks whenever we do our walks uh, for cancer and or lupus. Uh, I know my oldest daughter has lupus and uh, it's been a struggle for her. But you'll never tell about the way she carry herself. If she don't tell you she's in pain, you won't know that she's in pain. If, if she doesn't tell you she's swollen today and her joints hurt, you wouldn't know it. 
So praise God for a strong single black woman in the world who's still working, who still takes care of her children, who's still trying to make a way in this world and hold on to her own personal dreams. That's what Phases of Life International Ministries is about. We're about supporting those that are in need. Um, I had a, uh, I have an older sister, uh, Wanda, uh, I hope you don't mind me saying so, is that uh, she's um, um, had issues with, with cancer, but nobody probably would know that. And so we want to be able to give to these people and help them pay for their medications and help them with food and things that they need. Because sometimes when your body breaks down, you can't work. And it's taking everything that you need, you have to sometimes pay for medication. So you have a choice of paying for medication or you're going to eat. And to hear my daughter say that, what I always tell them, you, you can always get a meal from mama's house. <laughs> you can always get a meal from mama's house. And so uh, we raise our children to um, help them in, a, in life to realize that sometimes uh, things don't always go the way that you plan it. I never thought in a million years um, I would be where I am right now. I thought I'd be somewhere else, but thank God I am where I am because I keep my eyes on the Father. Uh, in the name of Jesus, keep my eyes on him and stay planted into the word of God so that he can uh, uh, train me in the way that I should go. And so, and that's through the word of God, through his Holy Spirit. And so when I read the word and I recognize things about how I should act and how I should be and, you know, being for, uh, having a forgiving heart and, and, and covering myself and all of that, uh, it's necessary for our children to see. Our children need to see modesty, especially older, I'm 53. So our children need to see modesty. My children don't need to see me walking out with my, with my boobs out. My children don't need to see me walking out with my high parts out, and I'm 53 years old. Now, I need to teach them how to be women of God. And so um, I want to be able to impart into women's lives from a biblical standpoint, not by what somebody said, but by the things that I read in the Word. So that's what we'll do as far as bringing people in in the uh, conferences that's going to help us groom ourselves to become better women, to empower us, to help us become all that we're supposed to be according to scripture. Now, the word says that the whole duty of man is to love God and keep his commands. Well, there's people that don't keep the commandments. You know what I'm saying? There's people that don't mind uh, committing adultery. There's, there's people that don't mind killing. There's people that don't mind stealing. But those of you that are, are passionate and compassionate for people and really want to make a difference in life, we urge you to please visit phasesoflife.com. Uh, click on the donation button, donate for whatever cause you want. You can note, note that in there. This is for the arts and entertainment to be able to give those events to uh, raise the money. Um, this is for the, the walks, for the cancer and lupus. This donation is for that. This donation is for the food and the clothing. Uh, this is for that. If you have clothing and stuff that needs to be picked up or food that needs to be picked up, please call us at 704-713-0624. Give us a time and a day that you want us to uh, pick up those donations as, as well as um, please, uh, one more thing we need to make sure that I'm trying to use my daughter's glasses. They're kind of hard for me, but, um, oh, I don't need them. Um, please send your donations either through PayPal or whichever way. If you do it through PayPal, uh, that's fine. If you want to, because we have a business account with Phases of Life, and so we have a business account, and it'll go straight to our business account. Uh, also, if you want to send a check or a money order, please notate on there what, what you wanted to, that donation to go to, Feed My Sheep, the Clothing Ministry, or the Future Endeavor or Transition and Housing Ministry, So, uh, or volunteering for the arts and, uh, uh, arts and Entertainment. You want to volunteer, please call us, give us your information. Put your information in on the website so that we can start collecting those names because we're going to be doing a show by the fall of next year. The script is already done. It's been waiting <laughs> for those that really want to show out their talents. So if you want to be a part of that, excuse me for, for burping, but 
if you want to show off your talents, you need to start getting your head shot together. You know what I'm saying? You can just take a picture, but I want it up to date, not three years ago. So sometimes I use photos from years ago. I don't even have my hair wrap on some of those, but I, I wear my hair wrap all the time. So, um, but as far as ministry is concerned, that's okay. You can wear your hair wrap. You, you don't have a good hairstyle. It don't matter. You can wear your hairstyle. Once you develop your character, that's up to you as far as uh, phases of life, inspiration, entertainment, and our ministry goes. So that's the part of our ministry. So at any rate, um, if you want to support the arts and entertainment with um, um, stage props, anything, okay? Um, anything where we don't have to buy a whole lot of stuff in the beginning, okay? Or have somebody build it. If you, if you know how to build stuff and you want uh, support in, you know, people purchasing the stuff that you build, building sets. If you want people to support you, then uh, volunteer your services and build a set for us. You know what I'm saying? And we'll utilize it and, and give you some um, advertisement that way. Um, for the Strength and Honor Women's Conferences and stuff, if you are a speaker, if you are um, into health and fitness, we want to do a fitness walk um, twice before this year go out. So we can do probably one in the fall and hopefully uh, the um, one before it gets really, really cold, okay? And so we want to make sure that we do that. And if you would, just put your uh, information on your check or on your money order and say, this is for uh, the t-shirts for your health and fitness project, project, or this is a donation to help with purchasing your t-shirts for your health and fitness project, your walks for the camps, cancer, or your walks for the uh, lupus, okay? So there's many ways that you can help and volunteer in your time and, and uh, everything, especially our elders that are looking to do some volunteering. Please feel free to give us a call, leave your name, your number, your information, put it inside of our website where it's notated where you can leave your information. But I, you can also leave your donations at 806 West Central Avenue, uh, P.O. Box 1043, Mount Holly, North Carolina 28120. That is our ministry um, um, address that we are using. So 806 West Central Avenue, 1043, Mount Holly, North Carolina, 28120. And we'll be so grateful for all that you do. We're, we're grateful to God. Uh, for uh, giving us opportunity. He keeps dropping things in my spirit and I'm saying, Lord, I don't know how to do that. I don't know how to do that. So thank God for Google. We can Google things and Google show you how to get it done. Thank God for all the wonder pe wonderful people that helped me with getting the nonprofit off the ground. Mr. Randall, we appreciate you. Mr. Chastine, we appreciate you. And so, uh, and Mr. Brian, <laughs> we appreciate you for uh, organizing our nonprofit through um, uh, Start Church, and, and they do churches, ministries, and groups. And so you can uh, go, uh, and I guess I can put that in a, a subscription when I put it, uh, put the video up, is that Start Church is the one that helped me because I didn't know how to do it. I was asking people over the years, you know, how did you get started? And I've asked millionaires, how do you become a millionaire? <laughs> and so when you're true to yourself, I believe this is how God will bless you with your wealth. And your wealth is not just money. It's spiritual growth. It's prosperity in all areas of your life, in your relationships with your children, uh, in your finance. It's everything. And so um, we are encouraging you to continue with us. Continue to follow us as we follow Christ. Uh, please subscribe again to our channel, Faces of Life International Ministries, um, Faces of Life Inspiration and Entertainment, and uh, subscribe, uh, and well, not subscribe to Faces of Life International Ministries, but um, make sure you put your information on our, um, our email list to find out what's going on next for our next um, event, our fundraisers or things that we have for sale to build up this ministry for people that are in need, okay? Um, I'm, I'm 
the website tells you everything about when our events will take place. It also, uh, we have a blog that's going on. We talk about our belief system um, in the ministry. Now, our belief system comes straight from the Bible. If you had never heard some of the things that's in, in there, just, you know, hold your thought talk to your pastor about it or whatever, but this is a ministry that's going strictly, straight, straight and strictly from the Bible. So the information that I put out there, um, and I think what I'll go ahead and do is add the scriptures to our belief system. Some things I've already written or attached um, to um, the things that I've said, but uh, um, I want to help you all understand that I'm not trying to convert you. This ministry is not about trying to convert you. This is about everybody being on one accord based on scripture, based on the Bible, the word of God. And, you know, people say that they believe God and that they know God, but we want to make sure that we do the things that Jesus did. Jesus gave, Jesus healed. You understand? Jesus um, helped transform the minds of the people. And so uh, follow us as we follow Christ and do the things that's necessary to uh, improve yourself. What you don't know, just pray and ask God and just follow his leading because timing is everything. You know, timing is everything. And you need to make sure that you're on God's timing and not your timing because you can get out there and you're not ready. And years ago, when I was trying to do this, I wasn't ready. So God gave me the wisdom and the knowledge to do this on my own. And as small as it might seem, it didn't exist before. <laughs> so now it exists. Faces of Life International Ministries Incorporated is now in existence. And we ask for your love and your kindness through your donations to help us make a difference in the world, all over the world. And we thank you for everything that you've done. Again, remember, click the notification button, like, view, and subscribe. Or should I say view, like, and subscribe. And please share it with everyone that you know. We, we oftentimes um, talk about things that we shouldn't be talking about. We shouldn't be talking about. So if you would, take a moment to share this information. I know it's a hard time in COVID-19, but if I can get a million people to give one dollar, then that's going to help with transition and housing. That's going to help with the arts and entertainment. That's going to help with feeding the uh, feeding our feeding God's sheep and clothing them. The least you've done unto them is done unto you. The least you've done unto them is done unto you. So if you want people to to give big into your life and your ministry give big jesus said the least you've done unto the least of them you've done it unto him so remember that everything that we do is going to reflect something positive or negative let this be your positive thing you do today i love you god bless you and we look forward to speaking with you soon peace let me get back to work <laughs> Thank you, Lord.